is going on? Welcome back to The Fragrance Return. I hope this video finds you in good health. Today we are talking about some hidden gem fragrances, some fragrances that you may not know about but you sure will after this video. And we're going to go ahead and get started here with this first one. This is from the house of Molinard. This is Gin Jambre. I believe this is a niche brand. And you can get the 75 mil for under $50. This is an excellent quality fragrance that you're getting. Great value for money. This has a lemonade type smell. Kind of smells like Dior Ohm Cologne or Jimmy Choo Man Ice. It's in that vein. Uh, so if you like super citrusy, perfect for summer type fragrances, very ozonic, very airy, very fresh, very lemonade-esque, uh, check out Jinjang Bre. The quality is amazing. I would say better than the Dior and certainly better than the Jimmy Choo Man Ice in terms of quality. Uh, if you're looking for that perfect lemonade scent, this is going to be the answer. Molinard Feed kind of gets all the love, and for good reason. That's a beautiful fig fragrance from this house. But don't sleep on Gin Jambre. I love this purple gradient here with the bottle. And the cap does really snugly fit into place. It's kind of give you that niche feel when you put the cap on. You can certainly pick it up by the cap, no problem. Great product from the house of Molinard, a French perfumery brand that's been around since... 1849, as it says on the bottle. So they've been around and they know what they're doing. Ginger Ombre, beautiful citrusy lemonade type smell going on there. Next one up we have is from uh, Michael Malul in collaboration with Ash from Gen Sense. Shout out. Made an awesome, awesome flanker of the original Jet Black fragrance. This is Jet Black Enigma. And this is like a woody, spicy. Uh, very cozy scent, lasts a long time, quality is really good, it's got a nice maturity to it, and it has good performance without being super sharp and aggressive. It's got this nice uh, fuzziness to it, a really prominent spice, amount of spice going on, mainly woods and spices here. Uh, very masculine and somewhat mature scent profile with great quality, lasts a long time, and again, the cap here is one of those that fits pretty uh, snugly on there and uh, holds really well. So Jet Black Enigma, Michael Malul, and Gent Sense made a beautiful woody spicy fragrance here that is certainly worth getting your nose on. Next one up we have is Francique 6355. I believe this is from Fragrance World, I believe. It is a clone of BDK's Gris Charnel, the EDP. And it is spot on. I smelled Gris Charnel about a week before I got this in. So it was still pretty fresh in my mind. And this is excellent. Kind of eliminates the need for me to get the BDK. The quality is great here. I'm not going to say it's as good as the BDK. But it's very wearable. And very much fills that void until maybe I can save up and get the real thing. Um, I like this bottle style presentation. It is simple. Watch out, these corners are pretty dang sharp, so you could definitely cut yourself on it. I'm pretty surprised at how sharp they are. Uh, cap, again, fits really snugly into there and holds pretty well. Overall, just a really excellent clone fragrance of BDK Gris Chanel. You get lavender, uh, you get fig, you get this black tea vibe. Again, it's kind of like a cozy, nice evening time, kind of like a chill fragrance that makes you want to come in for a hug. You know, it's got that warmth to it and that... Uh, kind of coziness, cuddly type scent profile going here on here. When you want to chill and you just want to relax and you want a nice uh, relaxing fragrance, this is one I reach for a lot of the time in the evenings. Uh, Francique 6355, excellent clone of BDK, Gris Charnel, the EDP. Next one up we have, uh, shout out to John Carlo. Appreciate you recommending this one. And also Joel's Matrix, he is the one who recommended the Ginger Ombre. So you got to give him love too. So Giancarlo put a couple of us on to this one. This is Happy Chopard Lemon Dolce. And this is marketed as a women's fragrance, but don't let that deter you. This does not come across overly feminine. I was a little bit worried that it would because I don't typically like to wear uh, fragrances that are marketed for women. However, this one is very wearable and doesn't have an abundance of florals to where it would make you think like this is super girly. Uh, it's just basically lemony fresh. So um, again, super citrus heavy, lemony, fresh, kind of soapy, really easy to wear. Perfect for like out the shower or when you want something a little bit more reserved, a little bit more laid back, something that is not as aggressive, not as sharp on the nose. 
uh, this is a great type of fragrance. I think it's going to work really well in the heat too. Certainly more of a daytime wear with Happy Chapard Lemon Dolce. Really thick glass too. And this cap is glass. It kind of looks plastic on the camera, but it's actually glass. And surprisingly, uh, really good quality for a very low price that you can get this one. This one is under $30 and smells great. A lot of value with Happy Chapard's Lemon Dolce. Next one up we have Estrasardi. Reflesso. Now I started with a 10, 10 ml decan or a sample and I've blown through that almost all the way and I knew that this one was full body worthy, uh, full bottle worthy. I'm yet to really dive into the bottle as I'm still working on that 10 ml since that's why you don't see a big dent here. But this is a beautiful fragrance that I've really, really enjoyed. It kind of smells like Lanoui de Lome, but grown up a little bit. It's more of an Italian style take on that Lanoui de Lome scent profile. And surprisingly, no cardamom, even though it does smell really close. No cardamom here. You get apple and you get mainly lavender are the two prominent notes with some spices as well. Um, certainly smells a little bit more classier than Lanoui de Lome, a little bit more dressed up, a little bit... Works a little bit better with a suit and tie and perhaps a little bit for a more uh, mature scent profile user, someone that wants something with a little bit more maturity than Lanoui de Lome. Uh, this is gonna be it. This is like Lanoui de Lome's dad or something. So uh, Trisardi Reflesso is got a little bit of that throwback style as well, although it came out in 2017. But if, if you smell it, you'll know what I mean, but really great fragrance and again, high value here. Performance is in that four or five hour range, nothing crazy, but you can get it at a very affordable price. Smells great for the price as well. Trisardi Reflesso. Next one up, we have is a flanker of the 1 million line that has probably been forgotten at this point. This is 1 million cologne, a beautiful, beautiful bottle, arguably the most beautiful bottle in my collection here. It has a cap, which I wish they all kind of came with this cap. I think it looks really nice. And this is an aquatic rose fragrance. So uh, this used to be my signature scent. As you can tell, it's very low. And yeah, I'm kind of burnt out on rose so much because I've worn this so much that I'm ready to wear other notes and I'm kind of over rose. But if you're looking for a great rose aquatic fragrance, uh, something that would really stand out and really separate you from everybody else, uh, that no one's going to be wearing with a beautiful presentation and just an allure that will really capture and captivate those around you. Check out One Million Cologne. I think it's going to get the job done for you, uh, especially if you're looking for a very wearable rose for men uh, with a nice aquatic backbone to it as well. One Million Cologne, beautiful bottle. Next one up we have is a fragrance that I actually received on accident and I ordered something else and they ended up sending me this one and I got my money back, so I, apparently, you know, I got this one for free technically, um, but this is really something for more advanced users of fragrance. This is Latafa's All Arik Silver from their Pride line, so it's a little bit higher quality than their typical fragrances. Not exactly sure what this is a clone of, but let me tell you, it is an absolute leather and oud like nuke. This is one of the strongest fragrances I have ever smelled. This is absolutely beast mode. Uh, well deserves that title. It is crazy. I can't even spray it in here because if I even spray one or two sprays, this whole area is going to smell like very strong leather for hours and hours and hours. So just take my word for it. This is a very strong fragrance. A performance is something that is very important to you. You may want to consider this one if you enjoy very leather prominent fragrances. Uh, this is amazing. It really is amazing and it's highly slept on. You have to really like leather though because it is so much leather going on in here. Leather and oud and certainly for someone a little bit further along in their fragrance journey that wants to really stand out and wants to wear something that uh, is just going to blow people's socks off basically. Uh, Latafa Al Arik Silver for those leather lovers out there. Definitely want to check this one out. Next one up we have is from the House of Banana Republic. I'm not sure if this is even considered a hidden gem, especially for people that watch this channel, it's not, but maybe to the mass majority out there, this is still a hidden gem. This is Metal Rain. And I recently sampled Creed Silver Mountain Water, the real deal. I was able to test it out and I was shocked at how close Metal Rain comes to the real thing. They really crushed it as far as getting right there with that scent profile. Uh, so much so to where 
I'm just good with this instead of wearing the Creed and paying you know upwards of $250 for that. You can get this for 25 bucks. Quality is pretty good. Not as good as the Creed, but still very wearable and very enjoyable, especially as it dries down a little bit and smells very similar to that Silver Mountain Water profile uh, with a classy looking gray bottle here. So Banana Republic's Metal Rain, an excellent interpretation of Creed Silver Mountain Water on a budget with good quality at the same time. Next one up, two more. We have one that is highly slept on. This is True Religion Drifter. You may see it out at the rack store and not think much of it because it is a True Religion's fragrance. I know that that was the case with me. I was giving it, I was glancing over it several times before I ended up picking it up. And it's quite unique. It's very fruity, but very masculine at the same time. So that's kind of a difficult combination because when you have a fragrance that's super fruity, it tends to be very feminine. However, the way that they blended it here with woods and just the overall spice that they've thrown in there, uh, they created a very fruity fragrance that's fresh and works for men. So it has a very, like, uh, it's got a similarity to Mancera Sicily to my nose, uh, kind of the way that the fruitiness comes across in that, like the watery fruitiness, similar type thing going on here. I think this one leans a little bit more masculine and not quite to the quality of the Mancera, but especially after it dries down, quality is on point here, very wearable and a very enjoyable sillage that it creates. This one has excellent performance, especially considering how fresh it is. I get easily five, six hours out of this. And considering the scent profile and how ozonic and airy it is, it's excellent. So True Religion Drifter, definitely one that you should pick up if you are looking for a fruity fragrance, but also has, you know, a good masculine backbone to where it's not going to be super feminine if you're not into that sort of thing. True Religion Drifter, a real hidden gem. Next one and last one up for today. Is going to be one that you can find at Burlington, I believe, still all the time. Uh, this is CR7 Game On. Sort of like the True Religion. Didn't think much of it because it is a Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, celebrity fragrance. And oftentimes those kind of stink, same like categories like the mall fragrances a lot of times, right? Uh, but this one is shockingly good and one that I just like want to come back to all the time. It's kind of one that I crave from time and time again, even though it is a more affordable fragrance. I think this was like 25 bucks. It's got that strong with you scent profile, but it's freshened up. It's certainly more fruity, more fresh, more sporty, something that you could wear to the gym, uh, something that you could wear before, you know, you start a game of football or soccer, uh, as the name would suggest with game on. Whoa, that was a nice mark that I left there. Anyway, uh, really nice atomizer here with this fragrance, like really crazy good pressurized atomizer and an easy wear that has some familiarity in the strong with you, but I really enjoy how they took that profile and made it like super fruity and fresh and lively and fun. So a lot of value. It's kind of coming into my mouth right now. I can taste it. It doesn't taste bad, but I don't suggest you taste it. I suggest you wear it on your skin and get the full enjoyment from CR7 Game On. That is going to be the 10 for today. I hope you appreciate these hidden gems. Let me know down in the comments what is a fragrance hidden gem of yours that you can put us on to. Join the fraternity, hit that subscribe button, become a member of the best smelling fraternity in the world. And other than that, take care guys. Uh, be well and I'll catch you on the next one. appreciate your time here at the Fragrance Fraternity. I'll see you next time. Keep smelling great out there, people.